you to welcome a bright new comedian that I'm sure that you are all going to enjoy. Welcome, Mark Sweet. <laughs> Comedians come out, they tell you how glamorous show business is. Lots of girls travel, living in luxury suites, traveling in private planes. I must be doing something wrong. I travel by bus. <laughs> now, I don't care for flying. They're always so class conscious on planes. You know, if you're traveling economy, as you walk to your seat through the first class section, the people in the first class section, they look at you like you paid for your ticket in food stamps. <laughs> That's why I like to take the bus. Because on a bus, there's no first or second class. On a bus, everybody's trash. <laughs> on, on a bus, you never have to worry about being hijacked or that the bus will get robbed. What could a guy get if he hijacked a bus? 200 bologna sandwiches? <laughs> And on every bus, there's at least one person whose religion prohibits him from using deodorants or taking a shower. <laughs> and they always sit next to me. <laughs> and signs on the road, they change when you're traveling in different parts of the country. Well, for example, in the East or Midwest, you'll see a sign. It says, next exit, food and lodging. When you get to California, that same sign says, next exit, munchies in place to crash. <laughs> in the middle of the night, the buses stop at McDonald's and you see some strange sights there. I mean, you see old people with no teeth and they go crazy trying to open up those little packages of ketchup. <laughs> kids who are stone trying to act like they're not stone. But the young kids don't think we know when they're stone. We know. Haven't you been to McDonald's at one o'clock in the morning, see some kid eat a Big Mac in one bite? <laughs> or try and light a French fry? <laughs> and kids who are stone always give themselves away. Uh, you know how? Uh, they shout their answers. A kid will come home stoned, his father will say, what'd you do tonight? Kittle said, I didn't do nothing, man. What makes you think I did something? You trying to say I'm stoned? My father says, no, 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 I was just wondering, uh, how did your socks get on the outside of your shoe? <laughs> and I don't have an Oedipus complex, but I always had a much better rapport with my mother than my father. And this goes back years. I mean, my father was a very strange person. Oh, he, he was a shy person. When I was about eight years old, I asked him how I got here. He said he was sorry and that it won't happen again. <laughs> and my parents are constantly after me to get married. Uh, my father, he gave me some advice. He says, when you get married, make sure there are two paychecks coming in. So find a girl who works two jobs. <laughs> But no matter what girl I bring home, my mother always finds fault with her. This one's too short, this one's too tall. This one's too fat, this one's too skinny. She never likes them. One time I brought home a girl. This girl talked like my mother. She dressed like my mother. She looked just like my mother. What do you think happened? My father didn't like her. 